let's get started with servlet in this example we will design a dynamic page which displays hey hello servlet message with the help of eclipse ide and apache tomcat after opening the eclipse ide we create a new dynamic web project the dynamic web project is present within the web path so let's go to web and within this web we will select the dynamic web project click on next and give it a name in our example we have given it a name servlet eg1 and finally click on the finish button on doing which a project of this form will be created within eclipse we can put name within this dynamic web project and click on the finish button on doing which we will get a project as shown in the screen we have created a dynamic web project with name servlet eg1 and shown are the various folders which are present within this project the first folder is the source folder which contains all the source code followed by the web content folder within the web content folder we have meta inf and web inf web inf plays a very important role with respect to web applications in java within web inf we have the lib folder as well as the web.xml folder within the lib folder we can add various libraries in case our application is going to make use of it web.xml is the starting point for any web application it is also known as deployment descriptor within the web content we have created a html with name index.html within this we have defined a form the action for the form is given as hello world action dot do followed by we have return a message saying that click here for response from hello world servlet following this we have created a input type submit which is used to create a button with name submit on the screen now whenever this page loads in the browser and user sees this page he will be able to see this message along with a button named submit whenever the user clicks on submit button the url in the browser will change to hello world action dot do shown is the web dot xml for this file within web dot xml we have the web app tag within the web app tag we have servlet tag and servlet mapping tag as well as session config tag and the welcome file list within welcome file list currently we have a welcome file with name index.html this means whenever someone tries to invoke this application by default index.html will be the first page which he sees now within the index.html page whenever the user clicks on the submit button he will be taken to hello world action dot do now this hello world dot uh, hello world action dot do is mapped to a servlet with the help of two tags the first tag of importance is the servlet servlet mapping tag within the servlet mapping tag we have two sub tags one having servlet name and other url pattern within the url pattern we are saying if we get a url as hello world action dot do please invoke a servlet with name hello world servlet while we have one more servlet mapping in which we map the hello world servlet name to the hello world servlet which is present within the package com.kispon.controller now the reason for these two mappings 
is number one for more security and number two for distribution of roles and responsibilities. Whenever designing a web application, various roles of people work together to make a complete web application. Some of this may be designers who design the web page and some of them may be programmers who write the code. While the people who deploy this application within the web container are deployers who are responsible for fine tuning the containers so that they can give maximum performance. Now since there are varied group of people involved within this web application to make the lives of some of them simpler we have these two mappings so that the user doesn't have to remember the complete package name followed by the servlet name each and every time he requires to deploy an application. So if a servlet developer writes a servlet, he will also write the servlet tag and give an intermediate servlet name to the deployer who can further map the URL to the same, thus making his life easier. Shown is the hello world servlet class which extends the HTTP servlet and gives body to do get and do post method. The do get method is invoked whenever a request comes to the servlet via get method while the do post is invoked whenever a request comes to the servlet via post. There are two different ways in which a client can send a request to the server in the form of get or post. Whenever the client sends data in the form of get, the parameters or data will be shown within the browser. It will be a part of the URL and easily visible while whenever the same is sent by using post, the parameters goes as a body of the post message. Now to make the code of the servlet independent of do get and do post, we are invoking a common method with name process request from both do get and do post. Both do get and do post takes request and response as parameters where request corresponds to type HTTP servlet request and the response is of type HTTP servlet response. Within the process request, again we pass the request and response parameters and it throws servlet exceptions and IO exception. Now whenever request reaches this servlet, it will do some processing and can return a response. In this case, we are directly returning a response with the help of print writer by using response.getWriter. Within this, we write out.println, the HTML tags, and also we print out the allow servlet back to the client. So whenever this response reaches the client via a browser, the browser will interpret the tags of HTML and will display the corresponding message on the screen. Now to run this application, we just right click on this and click on export to. Within export to, we can export this as a war file where war indicates web archive file. We can click on export source files and override existing files and within browse select a location where we want this war to be stored. After selecting the location via browse we can click on finish button 
on doing which this war will be exported. So I am selecting this servlet eg one dot war and click on the save button and click on finish to expose this current project as a war file. The web application can be deployed in a web container containing the servlet engine. One of the examples of such container is Apache Tomcat. Shown is the folder structure of Apache Tomcat. We will be more concerned within the web apps folder because within this folder we are going to deploy our web application. To deploy the application we just have to copy the jar generated sorry the war generated within this once we copy the war and go to bin folder and click on start button the tomcat will get started and the war file will be exploded to generate a corresponding folder with the same name so once we click on startup.bat the tomcat will start and our web application will get deployed once deployed tomcat will create a folder with the same name as that of the war and within this folder structure we will contain various HTML, JSPs as well as the web INF and meta INF folder. Within the web INF we will have the classes folder which contains all our servlets compiled. One more point to take care while dealing with web applications in Eclipse is by default the servlet.jar or the servlet api.jar is not present in Eclipse. We can either add that as a plugin or we just have to right click on the web application project and add the jar from the lib folder of Apache Tomcat. Once we do that, we will get all the classes which are required to compile HTTP servlet. So within Java build path of the web application, we just have to add the servlet api.jar. The servlet api.jar will be present within the lib folder of Apache Tomcat. Once the application is deployed, we can access the application via a web browser. If you see the URL of the browser, we have put localhost 8080. Localhost indicates the machine where my server is present. In my example, the localhost is present at the same machine. That is, the Tomcat server is present in my same machine. So, I put localhost. In case the server is located in some other machine, we can replace the local host with the IP address. 8080 is the port in which my Tomcat is installed and where my Tomcat listens. So I indicate the port number also followed by the application name. My application name is servlet eg1 which is what I put in my browser. So when I put this much within the URL of my browser, we get a page which is our index.html page. We get this index.html page because we have added it within the welcome list as a welcome file. So whenever someone tries to access this application, this will be the first page shown to him. We have the message as well as the submit button on clicking which our hello servlet will get invoked and we will get a corresponding message 
hello tablet from our tablet as you see since the request goes in the form of get we are able to see the parameter submit on the url as well as if you notice the url it has changed to hello world action dot do on doing which the hello servlet gets invoked and it gives the corresponding output next let's see how can we pass parameters to servlet <coughs> 